Hello, welcome to Hank's Maker Mentor. Today we're going over how to print and cut on an iPad and make a fleur de lis keychain. I'm doing this for my sister who loves the book Les Mis. So I found a picture of the map of Paris in 1834. That is 11 years before this story is set, so I was happy with that. I sliced it to the size and shape of the keychain. I already have the design set up, but if you want to see a video of how to slice images to specific shapes, let me know in the comments below. I have the edit bar open. You can see that the fill is set to print and the line type is set to cut. We're going to go ahead and click make it and it shows the design on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. That is the only size Cricut supports for print and cut. One thing that is super important to remember is that print and cut is only available for images that are 6.75 inches by 9.25 inches or smaller. You want to make sure bleed is turned on. It'll extend the color at the edge of the image so if the cut calibration is a little bit off you won't have an obvious white edge. Once we're on this screen we can either select send to printer or I've already printed. I still need to print it and I am using an HP OfficeJet printer. I only need one copy. I do want it to be single sided and in color. I am using the Starcraft Matte Inkjet Printable Permanent Adhesive Vinyl. It only works with inkjet printers so if you have a laser printer don't try using this product it won't work. It applies to smooth, clean, dry surfaces. I have already tested my printer and I know that it prints simplex down, which means that the paper that's facing down in the paper tray is where it will print. So I need to make sure that the side of my paper that says Starcraft is facing up. This would be the same if you were using Cricut printable vinyl or something else similar. Just go ahead and make sure you read the instructions for the specific product you're using. And this might be different on your printer. If your printer prints on the face upside, you'll want to make sure you set it in correctly. So now I'm going to press print on the iPad. Here is the printed image. It has the registration marks around the design. And those are the black lines that form a box that the Cricut machine scans. After it scans them, it lets it know where to start cutting. I like to give it a little bit of time to make sure it's totally dry before I start working with it. I'm not actually sure if it matters, but I prefer to be careful for that. I do want to make sure that this is durable since it will be on a keychain. So I'm going to put the Starcraft Matte UV Laminate on top of the design. It also comes in glossy. I only need the laminate over the design and not the entire sheet. So I start by cutting it down to the right size and then using my pin pen to separate the laminate from the backing. After I lay it down, I need to make sure I burnish it really well. Burnishing means to rub it down. And I'm using the four inch squeegee from 143 Vinyl. You can also use the Cricut scraper tool that comes with the basic tool set and the essential tool set. When you load it on your mat, you wanna be very precise about lining it up in the very corner and very straight. It helps the Cricut cut more precisely. After you select the proper settings, load your mat and press go. The first thing the Cricut's gonna do after you press go is to scan those registration marks. It does take a little bit of time and you wanna make sure that you have the right amount of light in the room. If it's having a hard time detecting the registration mark, try increasing or decreasing the light in the room. You don't want too much, but you don't want too little. After it's done detecting, it will cut the design. Go ahead and take your material off the mat. I like to place it face down and pull the mat away so my material doesn't curl. This is especially true with printable vinyl and sticker paper because if I keep it flat, I can flip it around and print on the other side so I'm not wasting as much material. This is the keychain that I'm putting my design on. I'm gonna work on top of my green mat so you can see it a little bit better. The keychain comes with a protective layer on both sides to prevent scratching. I treat my design like a sticker. I just pull it up and line it up on my keychain. Then I burnish it on really well. I'm going to attach the hardware to the keychain. I'm gonna use a lobster claw, a ring ring, and pliers. 
I put the ring ring on my finger, I grab my pliers and the jump ring. The ring ring helps me to open and close the jump ring without having to use a second set of pliers. It has four different slot sizes to fit different size jump rings. Then close up the jump ring, making sure it's really tight. My next step is taking the protective layer off the back. I like taking the protective layer off the back afterwards so I don't scratch it while I'm working on putting on the hardware or even putting on the design. I hope it was helpful to see how to do print and cut on the iPad and then make the keychain with it. Be sure to look in the comments for links to the supplies I use. If you want to see more iPad specific tutorials, let me know in the comments what would help you most. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to join me next week as I help you learn how to make. Until next time, bye.